my brother in Christ, you have returned. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Please clap. Wow. Bango tear? What in reverse, tear? Man, I'm finna whip this hoe. Okay, we're back with the arrow again today. Um, if you remember last episode, we got the variator done, the exhaust, everything to get this thing up to its full potential. And uh, we saw about 41 to 43 miles per hour max. And, um, that is due to my 12 to 1 gears, right? So for every 12 turns of the variator, I get one rotation of the wheel. And again, this kind of goes back to the, the mountain bike theory, right? That uh, more rotations on the front and uh, less rotations on the back um, means higher torque, right? So we'll be getting up a little bit of torque today, but we are switching to some 9.8 to 1 gears. Uh, these are recommended for your mile 72 bills, uh, which is this mile 72 cc bill. And uh, this should get us there in the 50 to 60 mile per hour range and actually let this thing be a fun, streetable scooter uh, that can keep up the traffic. So we're going to go over the install these today. We're going to turn this thing apart, get it pressed in, and then take this thing out and compare it to our mile per hour from the last studio. All right, so a quick overview of how this system works, right? So we've got our basic CVT set up. Uh, you've got your drive pulley and your, uh, your driven pulley. And back here, we've got the gears. Um, so in here, there's a couple different gear ratios that make this spin from uh, 12 revolutions right here to one at the wheel. So in order to take this apart, um, you're gonna have to undo some bolts back here, these eight mil. And before you do this, make sure you can take out the fill plug. Uh, that's this little guy right here. You would hate to drain this thing out and not be able to fill it back up. So definitely important to get that taken off first. Also, don't do this without having the correct gasket. Um, you can order these through Scooter Swap Shop through their S23 line. Want to make sure not to lose my uh variator shims here. Um, these can also be purchased on scooterswapshop.com. So if you really want to get your belt dialed in and that front pulley um, really, really at its max performance, pick up some of these shims so you can make sure your belt's fit right. What are you going to do to me, daddy? Tighten my belt by one loop so I don't feel hunger pains. Okay, so in here, we've got one, two, three, four, Five bolts were taken off, but first I want to undo that drain plug and make sure I can fill this thing back up. Make sure you get it all covered in gear oil. And uh, yeah, it's looking a little nasty, not horrible. Smell it. Mmm, smells nice. Finger in, lick it. Smells terrible. I will say it again. Gear oil is one of the worst smells in the automotive world. This thing is looking pretty well on here, so I might have to get a small flathead or something to try to pry this thing apart. Well, that didn't come off exactly how I wanted, but it is off. Now, when you go to remove this, this is very simple. You can either keep the wheel on. I had already had mine off. I was polishing up the case a little bit, um, but you can just press the back of this and it comes out pretty easy. So there we go. We got that off. Um, again, there is a washer on the top of this, so we make sure we don't want to lose that. And then this one pulls out just the same. Oh, and there's the 
here's that washer. So we got this small plastic washer back here, and this is so we're not rubbing metal on metal back here. Um, so this will be going back on. Sometimes you'll have a small uh, plastic type of washer or spacer that rides up against the case as well. Um, in my case, I don't have one on here, but I will be replacing um, this gear and sometimes they are a little bit thicker. So if you do have one of those and your gear is thicker, just don't put that plastic washer back on. So the two that we're replacing, as you can see, this gear and this one. So let's go ahead and take this over to the press, get these taken off, swap back in and uh, see what it does. Okay, so I've already started doing this, but uh, what we're gonna do is get some kind of a, a bearing holder or sometimes they come with these, uh, these plates and uh, we're gonna get something that is a little bit smaller than the shaft diameter, um, but that'll fit nicely on the bottom of this, this bottle jack here. And we're just gonna keep pressing this down until this thing starts to move, so. Looks like we're going now. And what we're gonna wanna do is try to catch this thing on the bottom side so we don't uh, damage or bend or possibly break that uh, that drive shaft. So uh, let me go ahead and set you guys down here and we'll join back once we're ready to press this thing back on the, with the new gear. All right, we're ready to go. Got this thing set up. Um, now remember the, the flat side of your gear is gonna face the inside of the transmission um, and that beveled edge that sticks up of uh, that is gonna face towards the uh, towards the variator side. So what I did was actually put the the wheel nut on here, um, and we're gonna take it down just enough so it catches enough threads. But we don't want to expose any of the threads on here because uh, when you press down on this, you could easily gall the threads and pretty much make this thing useless. So uh, now that we did that, we're gonna go ahead and jack this thing up a little bit and press this into place. So again, this should go in pretty smooth. You're gonna make sure that you're pretty squared up and uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I actually threw some uh, some engine oil on here to help lubricate it some and we should see this thing start going into place. And once we see that gap close up, then we know that we are fully in place. So we got a little bit more to go. Okay, and that's it. So now we're just gonna release this. And we're good to go. Next, for the manual specifications, we're gonna use 10W40 four stroke oil, and it takes 90 cc. So these five bolts back here, uh, these are getting torqued down to about 10 Newton meters. So let's go ahead and torque those now. And our drain bolt down here, that's getting torqued to 13 Newton meters. Okay, so we actually ended up switching out the gears a second time uh, because the 9.8 to one setup I had in there, I think it was just not doing this cylinder justice. Um, I went ahead and switched to another setup from Scooter Swap Shop and put 7.8 to one in there. Uh, but now the problem is that it doesn't look like we're able to get this thing to transfer over at the higher gear. And also the clutch is not engaging at a high enough RPM. So we got some more parts here to throw in real quick. We've got a contra spring and some new clutch springs here. This is kind of what they recommend for their basic street setup. And then I think we're gonna go to some larger rollers too so we can get that uh, that barrier to extend all the way whenever it's up in its upper RPM range. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now it should be noted that this is probably not the right way to do this. Um, there are proper tools to do it, but I don't have them. So I'm gonna show you how to do it the broke way. has a lot of pressure when you're pulling it off, so be careful. All right, you 
you see we got our contour spring here and then in here are also the clutch springs so what i'm going to do is get a small metal hook to pull this off all right and then we'll go ahead and throw this other contour spring in All right, after a few painstaking minutes later, got the springs in. Um, definitely gonna pick up the right tool for this next time. guys well thanks for joining us on this one sorry for the bad audio and confusion uh, as you can see we did hit 50 miles per hour on this setup uh, we did go a bit faster a couple of other times but I don't have screenshots to back that up but regardless I do thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time for the next project peace